the game. But it does not go well. Let's make some noise. It's off the goal. He shoots. It's he shoots again. It's back. It's off the goal again. He shoots. He scores. And Snoozer's team loses. And Snoozer is so disappointed. Oh, man. What a shame, Snoozer. So that's it? What? No! There was a lot more. Snoozer is sad. But then, Snoozer's old enemy, Deceiver, comes to visit Snoozer and says, Hello, Snoozer! I will train you to win. And then, they become friends! Snoozer trains very hard. He practices stretching and wheeling and hockey stuff and shooting. Snoozer becomes very good at hockey. Oh, cool. Is that the end? No! Why do you keep asking me that? Am I boring you, Checkers? No, Snoozer, you just you keep stopping, so I think it's over. Silly Checkers, I am pausing for dramatic effect. So the two teams rematch, and this game is even more important. It's the Super Duper Hockey Championship. Are you the other team is being mean. <laughs> we beat you last time, and this time, it will be super duper easy. We will see. I'm very good at hockey now, and we have a super duper good team. Well, our team has super duper skates. We're super duper fast. Stop saying super duper. You are diluting the term's meaning. The game begins. It's the pass. <laughs> and Snoozer's team scores. And now he scores! But then the other team scores. Great shot! And then Snoozer's team scores again! And then there is a fight! And then there is a penalty! And the other team scores on a power play! And then the game ends! Wait a minute, Snoozer, the game was tied! So then the game goes to overtime! The game is very intense! The, the player passes to the other player! Yay! And then the player passes to Snoozer! <gasps> Snoozer remembers his training! And then, Snoozer shoots and scores! And Snoozer's team wins the Super Duper Hockey Championship! And Snoozer is very proud. Okay, is it over now? Um, let me think. Yes, now it is over. Alright, well terrific, Snoozer. That was a great story, and I like how it ended. I like how you prepared for your rematch. Yes, it was hard work. Hockey's fun because I go really fast and get lots of exercise. Yeah, exercise is fun. It's also fun to learn about exercise. Would you like to learn more about exercise today? That would be super duper! Well, fantastic snoozer, get ready, because that's what we're going to be doing today on our reading road trip. Check, check. All right, snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? Okay, snoozer, it is time for your three hints. Hint number one. It's indoor. Hint number two. There are hoops inside of it. And hint number three. It is somewhere inside a puzzle. Hmm, this is tricky. Well, oh, it has hoops. A basketball hoop? We are going to a gym. That's right, Snoozer, we're going to a gym. Let me pull up the map. We are headed to the gym inside the Fuzzle Land School. Along the way, we're going to do a craft with your teacher, Mrs. Hamilton. Yahoo! I am so excited! Yeah, we're going to have so much fun today. Oh, look, Snoozer! Here come the books! Let me check out a few. Checkers. 
Here you go, snoozer. The Busy Body Book by Lizzie Rockwell. And Henry Gets in Shape by Robert Quackenbush. Perfect. Henry Gets in Shape is a really funny book. When Henry the Duck finds out that he's overweight, he begins trying to lose weight. And exercise is a good way to do that. The rest of the story shows Henry working out with various different machines and equipment. But everything he tries gets all mixed up. There's a lot of humor in this story as we see all the hijinks Henry gets himself into. But I also enjoy the illustrations, and they give this book a very unique style. Reading this book also shows us a bunch of exercise equipment. I want to try these exercises just like Henry, but I hope I don't slip and fall on my face. Yes, Snoozer, that would be not ideal. But hey, while we're talking about exercise, I think this would be a good time to do our craft. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. I wonder what it is. Me too. All right, well, let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton right now and make your craft. Hi, Snoozer. Are you all set to get started? Yes. Today, we are going to make a little basketball. A little basketball doing some exercise. All right, so we are gonna need these two sheets. And as soon as we cut out the pieces, we'll be good to go. Well, let's see here. Our little basketball player is going to be needing a headband. And obviously the part with the shoes are going to be the legs. And you can configure those any way you like. And the arms can be any way you like. I'll do that. All right. And the eyes are going to go under the headband. Got to have some cheeks. And then a smile. All right, I think I know what I'm doing, so let me get started here. I'll show you my little basketball guy. What do you think? Let me see yours. Here is my craft. I love how you wrote your name on the headband and added a ball. Good idea. I think I'm going to try that, too. All right. Well, I'll see you next time, okay? Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can. Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own snoozer. Come and see me. Anyway, back to the show. Look, checkers. How did I do? That's awesome, snoozer. Very creative. You did a great job. Well, anyway, I think we should talk about our second book now. And that would be The Busy Body Book, which is an energetic book where we see kids getting up and moving. I like this illustration style by Lizzie Rockwell. And it's cool to look in the background and see all the activity going on. The book also provides a great deal of variety. And we get to see how exercise affects our entire body and why it's important. So there's a lot going on with this book. And I recommend it for sure. Nice. Oh, there are so many pages. Yeah, a lot of pages and a lot to explore, Snoozer. And we're going to read that book later. But right now, we are going to land at the Fuzzleland School and get to our exercise. Well, Snoozer, we're here in the Fuzzleland School Gym. I thought this would be a great place to go to play some sports and get some exercise. Wowie! It's Piggy Wiggy! There's so much space! Dr. Dan says we should get at least one hour of exercise every day. And I think by playing some sports, we can do that easily right now. Serve. Return! Woo! <laughs> and now, hockey time! Checkers has a breakaway! He stops! He shoots! Oh! Wow! 
tired. Yeah, that's the thing about exercise. In the short run, it makes our body really tired. But in the long run, it makes us a lot healthier. Checkers, did you pause for dramatic effect? What? Oh, no, I was just done talking, Snoozer. Oh, well pretty soon we will go to a new place and we will learn new things on our next Reading Road Trip. Hey, what? 